Hi y'all, it's Joanne. Welcome back to my channel. I know I haven't been here very much lately, but as I had previously said, I'm cutting back on uh, videos. Everything's okay, but I'm just uh, spending more time creating and pursuing a couple other little things. But um, I wanted to pop on and say hi, see how everybody's doing. And I wanted to, well, talk about hashtag Forgotten Treasures for May and then show you some a uh, couple things I've been working on, some different tags, and maybe make one together. So let me just start with hashtag Forgotten Treasures. This, as you may or may not know, is a monthly challenge that Lonnie, Lindsay, and I are doing. It'll be the first Friday of every month, and it's basically pulling out those forgotten things that maybe you've hoarded or they got buried, you forgot about them. Or if you're like me, I'll kind of use something quite a bit and then all of a sudden, I guess, get tired of it and put it away or maybe it gets buried and forgotten. Hence, forgotten treasures. So every month it'll be a different category. This month it's going to be napkins. So if you want to play along, pull out all of those napkins that you've forgotten about or got buried, haven't used in a while, and let's make something. Like I said, it will be Friday, and if you want to join in, just use the hashtag Forgotten Treasures and link our channel with, with on your video or Instagram if that's what you're doing. But anyway, I think it'll be a lot of fun just to see what everybody comes up with. So like I said, that'll be Friday. Let me put that away and let me just show you. I'm making some tags. These are really different. I Gosh, I'm trying to remember where I saw something like that. Well, there have been a few people that use paper bags. That's what this is. And then I just curl the edges up. It may... I'll have to check. I think um, Heather at Rose Hill Paper Cottage might be where I saw something like this. But I love this with the edges curled up. And I've just got papers and laces and focal point. Just, you know, whatever you want. But I thought these were fun to make. Put some lace on this one. Just layered some different things. But I think it gives it just a little bit of a different vintagey look having these curled edges here. Here's one. This is some uh, handmade paper that Heather made. I got from her Etsy shop. And I've just layered it with different things. Some little pearls and uh, sorry silk. So I thought we could make another one. I had one more piece of the bag ready I was going to make it and I thought well why not come on here and and do it together and like I said it's just a old grocery bag and I've just pulled out a few I've got some different kind of scraps laying around here thought we could use um do I want this the whole way actually I think I'm going to tear this down a little bit more. I'm just going to leave that straight edge and put it under that, you know, the curled part of that. Oh, I just happened to notice the other side of that. Hmm, maybe I'll use that side. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Let me get my ink. Go ahead and ink around the side some. So how's everybody been? What y'all been up to? Getting ready for summer. It's getting close. Kind of say that here, tongue and tongue and cheek a little bit. I live in Florida, so it's summer more than uh, more than anything around here. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Where did 
it up first. So has y'all been making any interesting or different projects lately? Okay. I think I'm just going to get my glue stick for this. Just wrap it around the back, get the whole tag a little bit more stability. Oh, huh. I think I forgot to put the first layer first. That would help, wouldn't it? did that wrong again. I'm okay. Oh, good. It didn't stick. Let's try this. Okay. Let's get more glue down here. By golly, get some ink down the sides. Just kind of squash that up a little more. Put a little more ink on it. All right, what else do we want to put? Um, I don't know what I want to put. I don't think it's sitting around the desk. I thought I had some little cutouts or something. Oh, I do have this. That little thing. And I just happened to notice sitting here, I've got these cute little pink bags that I, uh, polka dots, which I love. I coffee dyed them. I think they're so cute. I'm going to be using some soon, and I'm also going to have some in the shop. As I've mentioned before, I've joined forces with Lindsay's and Noor over at Nevermore Creation 17. So that's where all my physical prop, um, products are. I still have my Etsy shop for my digital kits. But all the physical items, like I said, are over in her shop. And I do have a, uh, what do you call it, a restock coming up over there. Probably next week sometime. I'll let you know when I do. Hopefully you'll go take a look. Besides my things over there, she has a lot of gorgeous things, and she's got a marketplace there, too, where other creators send their journals and different things. So, a lot of fun goodies. 
All right, let me glue this. I'm still in frame here. Here's the butterfly. Let me ink it, see if we want to put this or not. Oops, sticking to me. I don't know. What do you think? We could put that. Just this little piece of whatever. Where do we want that? Nowhere. Um think what else? Not sure if I'm going to use this or not, but I love this color. And I think it's really pretty with these other neutrals. So let's see. Let me get a little bit of that off. Bring it and ink this one up. can't hear you. What should I do? I think I'm just going to rip a piece off. Maybe put it like that. What do you think? Why not? Yes, no, maybe. Looks like I'm getting ready to change my mind. Hmm. What I want to do. Okay, let's just go for it. Get some glue on this. Something I'm not liking. What is it? Put this. What else? We need something. Let me look over here a minute. You know what? I don't like that either. Do y'all have days like that where it's just, you know, not liking any of it? What about this? I 
show you what. This is getting kind of silly. Um, what about a piece of this? Y'all, you know, this is ridiculous, but I'm leaving it right there until I figure out what I want. Does that ever happen to y'all? You know, it does to me sometimes. Sometimes I just need to leave something alone, walk away, and then come back with fresh eyes. I mean, it's just a tag. It's not like it's any big deal, but that's what I think I'm doing. Just going to leave that one for now. So in the meantime, these are the others. It's nice being back. I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope to see you on Friday. Until then, happy crafting.